It's the grandson of right thought, and welcome to the school of marvelous light. Did you know you were just an avatar? Now I'm sure a lot of y'all elect gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I know that. All right, well let's take it further. Did you know you were an avatar for Abba? Ooh, ooh. Abba seek to manifest himself through you. He seek to use that vessel you are wearing. He seeks to use that to glorify himself. That's what he seeks to do with you. To put you on. And be one. So that would be an avatar, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. So Yahusha would be an avatar of the Father. Okay, let's break that down. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Bon appetit. <laughs> I was sitting up there like, okay, hold on. My children going crazy. They lost. Let me bring them on back. So let me prepare a suit. <laughs> let me prepare a body. So that I can come inside of that body and manifest myself unto men. See? So this world is manifest. You see? When it's tangible in front of you. Smell, taste, touch, all that. Tangible. That's manifest. Brought to fruition, in other words. Visible. You see? So the things of Abba are invisible. So then how would he display anything of himself to the 3D tangible world? How would he manifest his qualities to us? How would he do it? If he's invisible, read your Bible and see if it says he is. All right, we all agree on that. <laughs> so now... How would he make his invisible qualities? Now, what invisible qualities is the grandson talking about here? Kindness. Patience. Abba said, how can I manifest patience? Oh, do you hear it today? How can I manifest what kindness is so that one can see it? Well, I need an avatar. I need a body. See? That's you. That's what elect means. That's what it means. You were chosen so that Abba could manifest himself through you to the world. That's what you were created for. And when you don't, as the scripture says, hinder the spirit, then magical things start to happen through and in you. See, once you have submit the vessel, that's the key. Once you've given the keys and the reins over to your father and said, okay, I can't drive this bad boy because I don't know what I'm doing. I keep crashing. <laughs> I keep having to go back to the shop to get shit tweaked and tuned up and all kind of shit. What the hell's going on? I mean, ain't that what happened? <laughs> you know it's true. Exactly. So when we think about it, we go, okay, wait. If I'm driving this car, if I'm driving this car, and I've been crashing it. It keeps needing tune-ups. It keeps needing all kind of oil should like popping on and shit and shit overheating. And it's just, it's never going right. Now, I see my neighbor. His car is just, he's had it for about 30 years now. It's in mint condition, still running like it was brand new. What the hell? <laughs> huh? That's Yahusha. How did you do that? Uh, give me your keys. No! 
Well, I need to drive it to see how it... No! I'm the driver of this car! <laughs> That's how the hell you be, spiritually. When you try to hang on to shit. I can't let go! I've seen many people do that and work their self right into an early grave. And what profit was it? I gotta get it! Hustle! I gotta get it! I gotta hustle! I gotta get it! Hustle hard! I gotta get it! Right into an early grave. Why? What good was that? What profit did it do ya? Huh? <laughs> so, Abba has created you to become an avatar for him to manifest himself through you. That's why you have the qualities that you have, see? I just explained it to you earlier. How can I make invisible things visible? Well, he said, I'll take some kindness and I'll plant it in this avatar so that when the avatar acts and does things, see, according to the will I put in it, it will be kind and people will say, that's God. That's God. Praise God. Thank you, God. That's what they'll say. But if you don't act kind because you don't know that's the protocol, <laughs> You feel me? You don't know that's the downloaded information into that vessel. You don't know because you've created your own will. You've created your own downloaded message to yourself. No, this is my email to myself. This is what happens here. This is what we eat. This is how we do business. This is how we judge. This is how we treat people. This is how we treat ourselves. None of that shit is what God said. It don't matter. It's my will. So y'all should be standing there with his mid condition car looking at you at your shit, putting down a row, spitting out shit, can't get halfway up the road without your shit clicking off. And you looking back at Yahoo shit down the road, tomorrow, I don't need that guy, I don't need him. I can do it on my own. I don't need that guy. There's another guy drive by in a nice ass mid condition car. You're like, hey man, how'd you get your shit like that? You're like, uh, Yahoo shit did it. I'm in the passenger seat, you don't notice that? You look at the guy looks in the car, oh fuck it is Yahoo shit. Ah, damn! Uh uh. He's like, oh, what's going on with your car there? You're like, uh, I, I got it. I know what I'm doing. I know what exactly what I'm doing. All I got to do is do this a little bit more. You start going back to your own will that you made for yourself and looking at it over again. Yeah, I just need to do it more. That's all. Then you start working harder. Start working more into that shit. Doing more of your own will. And then your car breaks down even more. You can't even get up the damn one quarter up the mile no more. Shit, damn. Fuck your shit. Put in reverse and go forward. You put in forward and go reverse. What the fuck? Oh, shit. I'm tore up. Another guy rides back. Another woman, she goes by her nice little beautiful little car and shit. You're like, uh, hello. What's going on with your shit? You're like, I'm noticing I'm in the passenger seat. He looks again. Oh, no, please don't tell me it's him again. He looks, it's him. Oh, my God. Yo, who should take the wheel? Literally? Yeah, literally, guys. Just like when people used to wear those bracelets that said WWJD on it. What would Yahoo should do? That's real. Abba always loves his children. He's talking to you all the time. In any turn I need to make on this road, what, what Yahoo should do? What the hell was trying to figure out what would he do? Just let him do it. Uh, then I ain't got to do nothing. Uh, yeah, it's much easier. Just die. Sit in the passenger seat, in other words. Let that guy drive. Ah. Uh, he's like, okay. Finally, it broke down so much he couldn't even get it to start anymore. He finally said, okay. He finally said, okay. I gotta go on and just give on in. Yahusha, take the wheel, man. He's like, all right, go ahead and get in the passenger seat. Let's take this ride together. As, and then as you start driving, the car miraculously starts to heal bit by bit by bit by bit. Every mile you go, it increases and gets better and it gets better until it's perfect again. And then he wakes you up and says, hello, hey, hey. He nudges you and you wake up, you're like, he's like, we're here. You're like, uh-huh. Oh, Everything's beautiful. You're looking at the interior. It's pristine. You're like, wait a minute. You run outside. You open up the engine. It's perfect. The avatar. The suit. It will be perfect if you submit to the will of Abba Yah and everything. Here comes Tina, y'all. The woman I've been telling y'all about. She got a shot in her hand. She's drinking right now. Let's see if she says anything. She just threw the bottle on the ground and just kept walking. <laughs> see if she says anything before she goes on to her house. Let's see. Y'all give me a second.
You got some lunch. Huh? Like you got some lunch. Look at the look. Then the juices. Alright now. I told him twice I did not leave a bag. Mm. He said, yes, you did. I said, okay, I did. He insisted it. on you having it, didn't he? So I said, fuck it. Oh, like I am was looking out for you. You feel like you feel better. So it's not still it, is it? No, he gave it to you. I I, I told him I ain't had no bag. He said, yeah, you left your bag. I said, okay. You know, sometimes people do that when they want to give you stuff. They just say, hey, you forgot this. And they, they know they're just giving it to you. Well, wait. It was the error at the store. Hey, who knows? You never know who's going to give you something. Well, you look like you feel better. Huh? You look like you're feeling better. You know, your girl is such a sweetheart. Oh, yeah? I think hey, she's that's a sweetheart. that's my sweet thing, man. That's my sweet thing. I, I mean, she has such a pleasant demeanor by herself. Oh, that's beautiful. And Thank you for telling said, me that. Uh, I asked her, did she want the sound? She said, oh, no, thank you. So I said, shoot, I need to put it in my stomach anyway. Oh, okay. But she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's beautiful. So. You need a cigarette? No, you know oh, that. You smoke. You know that. I keep forgetting. I don't know how. You know my memory's bad. Mm, 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 mm. Shit, my memory said, motherfucker, tell you about to die. You naturally, you can't think straight. <laughs> shit. That shit mm, made mm, me, mm. that shit got me delirious. Mm, I'm mm, not mm. thinking rational right now. Wow. Wow. Well, you look like you're feeling better. That's a good thing. Because you was crying good. when you came back the first time. Uh, Said you was crying when you walked past the first time. Yeah. Now you were smiling when you came back. So. Yeah, I say, fuck it. It, you know, the life is, it is what it is. What else can you do? Okay. See, what I want to do tomorrow, go get my nails and, and a new wig and make myself feel better. Okay. I owe the whole fucking world, but the world's not gonna get paid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They, they ain't getting paid, fuck it. Well, you go enjoy your stuff and relax. Yeah. And take a load off. Take the load. Yeah. Relax. Chill. I just warm my brother got me a drink. Yeah, you, what you were just drinking, ain't it? You drank it. I drank it. Yeah, you just you said you just finished it. Oh no, I thought he brought me a beat bottle. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Well, I have a good one. All right, you too. My boyfriend, my boyfriend, be want to spend time with me. I'm just not in a mood for nothing. I just don't want to be bothered with nothing. Right now. Have a good one. All right. So now, back to the Avatar suit. Do you think Abba made the vessel for you to destroy it? Now, all of those out in the world would have to admit that they've destroyed themselves all of them at the end of the day they can blame 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 but after they've sat for a while with no one else around they have come to the conclusion that they have brought their destruction upon themselves you see and and so therefore that means you haven't submitted to the will for the avatar that you were given see that's all it is now what do yahoo should do watch how simple it is not my will so I didn't send myself no secret emails, <laughs> no G14 classified documents, no Mar-a-Lago shit. <laughs> I didn't do none of that shit. I just said, not my will, but your will. So Abba was like, all right, 
We can take some wine. Yep. Okay. We can eat a good plate of food when we get hungry. Oh, yeah. That's good, too. Uh, What else the vessel going to be able to do? Walk on water. Heal people. <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying. As long as Yahushua was in the will of the Father, the vessel is going to be able to do exactly what the vessel was designed to do. You see? So say people in the world call it, say they call themselves healers. You know, a healer or somebody who they think is uh how you say guru. Somebody that's spiritually supposed to help you. Somebody that's spiritually supposed to uplift you. Right? Do they tell you about the will of the Father for the Avatar? Is that what they tell you? Because if they don't, then they're not actually no kind of guru or no type of uh, spiritual leader or uh, no, none of that. None of that. You see? And when you understand that that's what the avatar was meant for, then you submit. And then when you submit, you become one with Abba. See how the avatar work? And he tell you who he, he designed for you all along. You see? You see? Just like I told y'all. Watch this right here. Abba did this. I didn't know this was going to happen. Abba did it. That was Tina. She just said, I just saw your girl. Talking about my sweet thing. And she sold this and sold that. She's speaking highly of her. I'm sure y'all probably heard her. If y'all didn't, well, she was just speaking, you know, talking her up. And she was just telling me how sweet she is, how pleasant she is. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> she a reflection of me. So I know that about her already. That's why she mine. Because those qualities. Now, let's see what I'm describing here. She's sweet, the lady said. Not me. That was what she said. Now, I'm a second witness saying, yes, yeah, she sure is. So out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. And like I said, I've marveled at how this woman affects people. And people have literally stopped her. I mean, it's. <laughs> I would be here all day telling you all the times that I have witnessed people stop her and tell her about how kind, how sweet, how, jo how much joy she brings to their day. How she affects them. She literally is a spark and, and it sparks people to joy. Literally, I have watched. It doesn't matter what race. It doesn't matter what, what color creed. It doesn't matter. I've seen all people come to me and tell me personally, that's your woman? I'd be like, yeah. They're like, man, she, you got you a good woman. That's, that's what they say. I'm just telling you what they say. That's what they say. You got you a good woman, man. You got you a good woman. That's what they say. So that's only because she has a died to her old will for herself and allowed Abba's will to work through her. And all I did for her was remind her of that qualities of herself. You're kind. Don't frown. Your face is a, is a spark that sparks other people. When you smile, when you walk in a room and you have that big, beautiful smile on your face, everybody else can't help but get bubbly inside. It just is what it is. So when you don't do that, you make everybody sad. Me too. Don't frown. Don't be down. Don't be mean. See, that's all I did. Be Abba's will for you. What Abba created in you. I love the way Abba created you. <laughs> I love what Abba did you see because it blesses my life like I can be sitting here talking to you guys and then somebody will come and just bear witness to what I have been given in my life a good thing well I'm going to tell you brothers if you want that same thing that I am experiencing if you want to be where I am keep the commandments of Abba Yah make it your priority in every circumstance before you act and many times it's hard and sometimes you want to lash out and I used to but I had to learn to bring those horses back Pull those reins. Self-control. I'm a man. And I decide what I do. Not no woman. Not no child. Not nobody. But I am. That's it. So what do you say? I say be still on this. 
So I learned to be still in hard circumstances when I wanted to jump out of my skin damn near to grab somebody by the throat and strangle the life from them. My will. But I was said, no. You sit still. You take this blow. You deserve it anyway for what you've done. And I go, yes, you're right. Immediately, you're right. Look, if I'm not dead, then anything you give me, I understand. Because I should be dead. So if I'm not, then I'm only living because of you. I'm only living because you have given it up. <sighs> given it up. That man is a fool without father. That man is a coward without Abba. That man is so weak without father. That's, that man is, is, you get it. You get it. I'm so not used to speaking those words. I don't even know how to find them anymore. All praises to Abba Yah. Because I say I am blessed. I am mighty. I am strong. See, because it's Abba. It's not me, guys. I wish y'all could understand who's talking to you right now. Don't look. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. Just say this last week. And this is not boasting. It's just a simple fact. This last week. How many videos would you say the Grand Center Right Thought has posted for you guys? Now, they're being posted um, in real time. So I'm, I'm doing it. Like right now, I'm going to do this video. As soon as I'm done, I will edit it and post it immediately. And within half an hour, you guys will be hearing what I'm saying right now. With that being the case, that's Abba making that happen. Now watch this. The world says that so-called black men, which is what the world would call me if they saw me, they love fucking, they can't control their lust, they love drinking, they love getting drunk, they love thugging. This is the stereotypes that you niggas made up. So let's see if your stereotypes are true or if you have just lied. They love sagging their pants and flaunting unnecessary bullshit. They love to work sinister means on people in iniquity. They're robbers. Well then how in the hell are you on a daily basis receiving the bread of life from the grandson of right thought who be a so-called black man? If that's true. Now let's prove what it really is. It's a lie thrown at me to see if I will believe it. That's all it is. So then it, it's nothing. That's what happens when you let Abba into the temple. He lives. So can you be weak if Abba is the one driving? Can you crash the car, in other words, if Abba's driving? Do 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 y'all knew this was coming. Do 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 See, I do that when I ask a question that has a straight obvious ass answer like that. You see? The avatar you wear is for Abba's use to glorify Abba. So the code he put in you. Now some people got codes in them like lie. Cheat, steal, or as he says, work iniquity. That's the code he put in them. Work iniquity. And then they go forth and they do it. Then he says, work righteousness to you. And then you go forth and you don't do it. Hold on a minute here. Hold on a minute here. Can the wicked be righteous? Okay, then. So can the righteous be wicked? Not so. Come back to the programming. <laughs> what was the pro program that was given to the elect when we came forth? And he stepped up to Yahusha and he said, all right, now I'm going to send you out. He gave us a pamphlet. Do you know what it said in there? It said, love Abba Yah with all your heart, your soul, and your might, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's what the pamphlet said. That's what the download said. I don't know what all this other stuff. Get rich. Wait a minute. Who in the hell put that in the damn pamphlet? That was not in there. Open your pamphlet and see if it's in there. Yahushua said, get rich or die trying. <laughs> Let's see if Yahushua said that or if that was 50 cent that said that shit. 
<laughs> and that advice is worth 50 cent. <laughs> Get rich or die trying. Uh, let's see what the pamphlet say over here. It say, uh-oh, shit, that nigga 50 cent got snacks because my pamphlet over here say, if you love money, then, uh, y'all know the rest. Damn. Hardly shall a rich man enter the kingdom of heaven. Get rich or die trying. Nope, that's your will. You go ahead and have that will. Get rich or die trying, Fitty. Go ahead. You go on ahead. I'm going to go ahead with the protocol of Abba because that give me life. Now, as long as I stick to the protocol, I'm alive. Do you guys hear that? As long as you stick to the protocol that was written in you, then you have life. See? Told y'all. Just like if Yahushua was like, watch this, watch this. They say it's, they say I'm a wine bibber, Abba. So I shouldn't drink wine, huh? So I'm not going to do it because that's what they call me. I won't do it. I'm not a wine bibber. Look at the shit. Is that what happened? So then let's get this right. Let's get this right. There were some people that came up to Yahusha when he was just chilling with his homies. They came up to him, saw him drinking some wine, saw his eyes was red, and said, This man is a drunkard. He's a wine bibber. All he do is drink up wine. Every time I see him, he got a glass of wine in his hand. You see? Now, what if Yahusha said, You guys are right. <laughs> I am a wine bibber. Oh, God. God's going to condemn me for that. You're right. Did he do that? So then you see how I be puffing and talking and puffing and talking and puffing and talking and puffing and talking and puffing and talking. You see? You see? They be like, grandson, oh my God, you got a cup of wine in your hand every time I see ya. In other words, you got a blunt in your hand every time I see you, man. Yeah, and uh, so what? That's my protocol. What's yours? Cocaine? What's your protocol? Heroin? I'm going to put mine up against... I'm going to put my little aphia weed on a table in front of all of y'all things y'all got. And we're going to see which one is fucked up. Which one is yours? You're going to put a pussy up there on the table? A little flappy ass pussy going to land up there on the table? Damn, that's your hang up? Nah, I'll keep my aphia. I don't want that flapping ass pussy. Hell with that. What's yours? A dog? You too busy having sex with an animal? Oh my god, a dog popped on the table. I was like, bring it out! And my, my aphia weed popped up on the table. A dog popped up in front of that nigga on the table. Oh my god, how embarrassing. That's what your hang-up is? That's what you can't stop doing? Another nigga, a little infant baby popped up in front of him that he was raping. Oh my god! Yep, that's what his hang-up is. He can't stop doing that. Oh my god. So why are you calling me a weed head? Um, what are you? I know I am, but what are you? <laughs> That's my protocol, you see? Because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You can't tell me I ain't. You can't tell me I ain't. It would be well that I drop one video a day and say, I did labor for Abba today. I did well. That would be well. But instead, I don't think of work. I'm dead. So whenever Abba talk, that's what happened. That's why Yahushua said, whatever the Father do, I do. That's it. Silawam Israela.